form to explain the material about syntax, process, sentence, and three diagrams. So first, I want to explain about the syntax. So what is the definition of syntax? Syntax is a subfield of linguistic that studies the internal structure of sentence and interrelationship among their component parts and arrangement word in a sentence, clause, and press, and the study of the formation of sentence and the relationship of their component parts. Sentences are made up of particular elements which are ordered in particular ways. So next, I will tell you about press. So what is the definition of press? Press is a group of words that express a concept and is used as a unit within a sentence or a group of words that do not contain a combination of subject and predicate the press already has meaning. There are two elements that make up the press. So the first is modifier and the head. So modifier is a component that describes and that it in the modifier is divided into two. There is the pre-modifier and the post-modifier. Pre-modifier is the modifier that is located before the head. And the post-modifier is located after the head. So head is the component described. Uh, next is kind of press. Uh, the, the first is noun press. Noun press are groups of words that function like a noun or press that containing a noun as a head. For example, in the sentence, the Bohemian house was brightly decorated for the holidays. So the Bohemian house is a noun press as a subject. Second is gerund press. So gerund press is a simply a noun press that start with a gerund. For example, walking and the rain can be difficult. So walking is the gerund. And the third is adjective press. So adjective press is a press that contain adjective as the head. For example, he has he was hardly happy when he got there to see her. And the fourth is adverb press. Adverb press is a press that contains adjective as the head. For example, she responded very rudely. And a fifth is infinitive. An infinitive press is a press consisting of an infinitive object and or modifier. For example, is in the sentence to run through the rain. Six is a positive. It's a word of press that has the function of explaining the describing the noun or pronoun. It's follow, for example, a girl in a long skirt. Eight is prepositional press. Prepositional press is press that make the preposition helped. Always begin with a preposition like in, on, at, for, from, etc. And ends with the object of preposition. For example, uh, in front of her or in the next year. Okay, next I will explain about sentence. So a sentence, what is the definition of sentence? A sentence is a set of words that is complete and in itself, typically containing a subject and predicate, conveying a statement, question, explanation, comment, and consisting of a main clause and sometimes one or more subordinate clauses. So next, that's about the material tree diagram. So the tree diagram is a never method for diagramming sentence that is most commonly used by linguists and other academic professionals. In the tree diagrams, a sentence is divided into two parts. There is a subject and a predicate. They are made up of noun presses or verb presses. These are group of words that include a noun or verb and any word that act as modifiers. The subject is a noun press, while a predicate is unusual a verb press. Okay, for example, I will show you the example. You can see here 
The sentence is broken down into a subject and predicate. The subject is a noun press that consists of the determine that is the and the noun doc. The predicate is more complex as it consists of both a verb and a noun press. Breaking down the predicate, the verb is ate and the noun press is the and bone. As you can see, the three diagram use minimal symbol and little complex jargon, yet clearly illustrates how each of these words relate to and depend upon each other. And this is the symbol of the three diagrams. Okay, that is all my explanation about syntax, phrases, sentence, and tree diagram. Thanks for your nice attention. Blas Asih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.